I don't think you were stupid for loving them, I think you were brave. In spite of all the red flags that you saw, in spite of all the warning signs that you saw, you tried to love someone broken anyway. You tried to heal them anyway. As many times as you tried to show up for them, as many times as you tried to help them, that's not stupid. That means you have a big heart. That means that you love harder than most people. That means that when you invest yourself in someone, you go 100%. You give it your all. And just because you gave it to the wrong person doesn't make it stupid. Oh, you are so dumb. It kind of does make it stupid. You see all the red flags, but decide to stay in the relationship. You wasted your time and now you're coping on TikTok. I don't know what red flags this chick is talking about, but if she knew she's in a bad relationship, it's up to her if she wants to stay or leave. It's not brave. It's stupid. If you find yourself constantly attracting toxic partners, men never treat you right, you're not getting princess treatment, and you just don't understand why all of these other women are finding the perfect men that are giving them healthy relationships, and you haven't experienced that, it doesn't mean all men are toxic, and it doesn't mean chivalry is dead. It means you have some work to do. But here are the steps you need to take to finally get the treatment you deserve. One, take a free online test to learn what your attachment style is and work backwards from it. Because chances are, you probably don't have a secure attachment style. I feared intimacy and getting too close to somebody, so I was never picking the right guy or I was bored by nice guys. Two, shut up, bitch! Yeah, I'm not gonna make you suffer through her ramblings. She just went on to promote more online quizzes and books. She took an online quiz, and now she thinks she's a dating guru. Okay, queen? Show us your bloke if you solved all of your issues. ...to be special and have a great ring. Should I just wait or tell that I can't wait forever? So this is a great question. So you never, ever, ever wait on a man for anything. Wait it, waiting energy is not goddess energy. So when your man says to you something like, uh, I'm waiting. So let me give you an example from my personal life. When I met Irfan, my husband, he said that he had already been dating, by the way, for actively for six, seven years. And he said that he wanted to take a year to get to know me and then decide if it was going to proceed further. And I said, that's a great idea. That's wonderful. Um, I think that's a smart thing to do these days. And he was beaming. I said, uh, however, uh, if someone else proposes from my other pool, I'll have to let you know and all communication will have to stop. I said it very casually. It was my truth. I was being honest. I didn't say propose to me or marry me. Nothing. It was too soon. And anyways, at that point, so I wasn't trying to get to anything with him he came with a ring the next day from a different state he didn't live in my state that's how you do it oh hell no she mentioned another pool of guys then the guy jumped at the opportunity to marry her that's disgusting she can swim into whatever pool of guys she wants i'm not going to take her seriously i try to whisper her sweet nothings get that ass then dip basically pee in the pool and run away fucking hate men bro so me and this guy have been talking right for like a week and everything's been so good like the man is fully grown has two children absolutely beautiful i'm in shambles clearly we're supposed to go out on a date tomorrow right and i'm like he texts me he's like hey mama just got home i'm like all right bet i'm getting in the shower give me like 10 minutes and i'll call you well, I get out of the shower, and I've received two. Look at Karen's <laughs> Those two messages sent with invisible ink. I'll let you guys just ponder really quick on what you think it could possibly be. Yep, you fucking got it. Two pictures back to back, man. When I say it has been nothing but innocent, how are you? Good morning, beautiful. You look stunning. Like, in what way did you get anything but take me out on a date? Like, that's straight up. And I'm just, I don't understand why men think they can just do that. I'm so sick. I'm just as lost as you are. What was the deal breaker? He sent two pictures and that was it. Guys never send two pictures back to back. You'll ruin your chances with the whale. I understand that girls are hot and I'm all for hot girls, but if my boyfriend even looks at another bitch, I hope his dick literally burns off. Yeah.